Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So today we are going to be hatching a legendary dragon. So if you saw a couple of videos ago, we did actually manage to breed this legendary comet dragon on our first try. And his egg actually has a really nice pattern there, look at all the white dots and that. I actually kind of really like his egg, but here he is, our little comet dragon. So this was actually the first legendary dragon I ever bred in DML. So I do kind of have some uh, nostalgia when it comes to this guy. So I'm kind of happy that we managed to breed a second one, to be honest. But I originally bred this dragon like two years ago. So he was like my original legendary team member. But this trainer has made many wishes on the tail of the comet. But so far, none of them have come true. Unless the wishing for more wishes one worked. <laughs> I guess you'd be stuck in like an endless loop if that was the case, but he has the legendary void and wind element and it wants us to go and put him over into this habitat over here, which we will do. So he is in the same habitat as his big pappy reptar over here, so we do have two comet dragons now, which is pretty sweet. <clears throat> I did actually have to sell my earth dragon to make space for this guy, so... Chances are I'm probably going to have to sell him very soon, but we can at least take a look at this little baby here. So, little baby Naor, very happy that we got you, but I managed to breed him using the Rust plus Fire Dragons for anyone that's interested, which is like the best combo that you can use. So, you know, if you want to go and try it out yourself and potentially get one of these guys, go ahead and try it. Obviously, Reptar is no longer part of the main team, or won't be very soon, and he's probably in, like, the bottom 40% for how strong a legendary is, but, you know, like I said, Nostalgia, my original OG legendary, so I'm, I'm not gonna fuss over the fact that we have him. We do also have two Love Dragons, like I've said before, so we might have to sell Tolo and Little Nail over there, but... You know, we'll get to that bridge when it comes, and I should probably buy another Earth Dragon Egg before I forget. Because otherwise I definitely will. But, on top of that, we do also have a Grand Dukes pack out for the Seahorse Dragon. So this bundle is for £20 worth of stuff. So you get the Seahorse, some gold, and some food. So the Seahorse was available during the Deep Sea a uh, regular solo event last year, and we did get the seahorse, we just didn't get the angler, unfortunately. So, I imagine quite a lot of people probably missed out on him. But, cool looking dragon overall. A little bit expensive at £20, but, you know, quite a lot of the bundles are pretty expensive. <clears throat> and my voice is dying still, so you, you know, give me some slack on that half. But, we're going to be doing... We're attempting to do as many enchantment fights as we can, as per usual. And I've been waiting on news for what the next Dragon of the Week's going to be, but so far we haven't really had any updates, unfortunately. I know that the Gameloft Community Manager is actually off. So, perhaps that's the reason why we're not being updated on what the next Dragon of the Week's going to be. But, I mean, it's coming out in like 16 hours, so I kind of kind of want to know. Like, desperately, but I guess I guess we'll come to that bridge as well when we get to it. But I wonder if it's going to be a new Dragon of the Week or not. Because last week we got the Phoenix, which, you know, hadn't been available for actually longer than I thought. But, you know what I mean? I love new stuff. Like, we got the Matriarch pretty recently and all that, which I was very happy with. Cut it very fine with breeding that Matriarch, like... I thought that we were going to miss out on her, but last try and we got it, which was pretty sweet. But, <clears throat> you know, just overall, I'm hoping for a new Dragon of the Week, but, you know, at the same time, I do understand, say, someone that might want the Luck Dragon or the Lynx Dragon. Actually, not the Lynx, because you can just get that through the arena fights, but. I don't know, what's another common one? The Pulsar? I know a lot of people still need the Pulsar, even though he's been a Dragon of the Week like 50 times, it feels like. But, you know, if you're someone that only started playing the game recently, or like half a year ago, you're probably still missing out on a lot of the Dragons of the Week. So, you know, I do understand your struggle as well. 
where you're like, oh, I wish that that Dragon of the Week had come back, and then all of us, like, higher level people are like, ugh, I didn't want to repeat Dragons of the Weeks. And the, it's basically like first world problems for us when we do get a repeat Dragon of the Week, which is quite sad. But, <clears throat> you know, you know, I get it from us as well. When we've played this game for like two and a half years and we don't have any more like regular dragons to breed or anything and it's basically just like every dragon of the week is the only reason for me to come back to this game. You know, that is pretty much like the saving grace of me still playing DML sometimes. So, you know, I guess it is tough to sort of manage Dragon of the Weeks for everyone in that regard, is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, no matter what decision Game Luff make, or anyone for that, for that fact, actually, you know, someone's gonna be upset, someone's gonna be happy, and you're never gonna win. Same with politics. Am I actually gonna lose this fight here? I didn't think that this Smoke Dragon would be this, this strong. I guess we just about missed out on this fight by, like, 2%? Would you like to keep fighting? I would like to keep fighting, but I'm not spending 25 gems on it. Oh, that sucks! I genuinely thought that our Autumn Dragon would be able to do that. But no, one star of enchantment is too much for a, a, poor, a poor boy to handle. Not a poor boy. That sounds very weird. And another thing to note, is that 16 hours from now we're gonna get a new dragon of the week, we're gonna get a new card pack dragon, and we're also gonna get the clan siege event back. So, <clears throat> overall we're gonna have a lot of new stuff coming out tomorrow, so of course as soon as I get the chance I'm gonna be updating you guys with what we have. And tomorrow I'm probably not even sure if I'm gonna be doing mostly DML stuff because... I have another game that I plan on focusing the channel around more so in future, so... You know, some of you are going to be pretty upset about that, but... Pretty much the plan is to make DML a side game rather than the main game on the channel. But we will have to wait and see what happens regarding all of that, because it's going to be pretty crazy, put it that way. But anyway, for now... Thank you for saying hello to our little baby comet dragon here, and I wish you the very best of luck with breeding him yourself this month. If you do need any other tips, obviously, I do already have my how to breed guide out, so go and watch that if you want any other tips or combos to use. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys there. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.